Well, a lot of people are worried about job loss in the future. They're scared of artificial intelligence and robotics and driverless cars. Millions, maybe tens of millions of people will be out of work. You know, what do we do about that? If you look back in history, technology has always destroyed jobs. It's going to continue to destroy jobs. The real question is what we can do to offset that by creating jobs and sometimes even creating new industries. That really led to the Project Restart agenda. How do we make sure we're really understanding what's going to be necessary to make sure America remains competitive in the future? R is for reform. How do we reform the way Washington works with startups? There is a role for government, particularly in the third way, because some of the sectors and new kinds of drugs and medical devices and transportation systems, drones and so forth, are going to require some kind of regulation. But we need to make sure we're not just have regulations focused on keeping bad things from happening. We're also enabling good things to happen. We're empowering entrepreneurs to create the startups that can create the jobs that can create the, the future. So the E is for education. How do we create more entrepreneurship programs and instill more creativity? 20 years ago, a program called AmeriCorps was created that really gave people an opportunity to focus for a year, going to some community, joining some organization, and being part of that. Maybe we need something like a startup core that really is a path for people who want to get that firsthand experience. S is for sourcing. How do we source goods and services from startups? Well, it's important for the big companies in these cities to support the small companies. I think it's in the self-interest of these companies to work with startups. It is helpful to the community. It helps launch the startups that create the jobs in their community. But it's also helpful to the companies. By working with the entrepreneurs, they can understand what's happening a little faster and be a little more agile and reacting to the marketplace. T is for tax incentives. How do we incent more investment to go into these rise of the rest regions to support entrepreneurs everywhere? not just in a few places. Last year, 80% of venture capital went to just three states, California, New York, and Massachusetts. One of the ways to try to level the playing field is make sure every entrepreneur everywhere has access to the venture capital they need to grow their businesses. I think there is a role for tax policy. A is for attracting and retaining talent. How do we win what's now a global battle for talent? And how do we attract some of the best and brightest from all over the world to come here and start companies here that create jobs here? Apple started because a Syrian refugee was allowed to be here. Google started because a son of a Russian immigrant was allowed to get an education here. So companies like that created thousands, tens of thousands of jobs. The second R is rethinking capitalism and entrepreneurship. I think it's critical that these third wave companies really take a long-term view of things, not just focus on this quarter, but focus on where things are gonna be five or 10 years from now. We're starting to see the slowing of this brain drain. People who maybe grew up in Detroit or in Minneapolis or some other city, but left to go to San Francisco or New York are now saying, I, I wanna go back. I wanna raise my family there. I wanna be part of the startup community there. But these cities need to do a better job of evangelizing why it's time to come home. And the final T is for transforming local ecosystems to support all across the country the next generation of third wave entrepreneurs. These cities have to figure out a way to create that network effect, bring people together, and interconnectedness is central as part of this third wave. These rising cities have to focus more on impact, focus on purpose. How do we change the most fundamental aspects of our lives and create startups and jobs in the process?